This is just how you roll when you don't have normal coffee cups because Kendall is the only one smart enough to bring, you know, a Arctic or a Yeti or anything like that. Or so, that. look at here. This is what I'm having coffee in this morning. You know, who has a coffee pot that's <laughs> like a Coke machine? <laughs> Oh, my glass doesn't break. <laughs> I would be so jealous. Mm-hmm. You should be. I won't share your cup with anybody. I'm not. Well, good morning, boys and girls. It is 4 a.m. We've actually seen 4 a.m. every day on this trip. Just the opposite today. Usually we're still up, but this morning we got up before 4 a.m. because we're headed to the Atlantic coast today to go fishing. DJ has a goal. Hopefully we can get her on like a 40 inch snook. You think you can catch a big snook today, DJ? I don't, I don't guess I have to talk quite this loud. I'm pretty loud. Yeah. So 4 a.m. Quit yelling at Every me. single day this week. And uh, you know when you're used to staying up until four, five, six, I don't know, gotta go to bed at like eight o'clock nine o'clock it's kind of hard to get out of bed at 4 a.m but we're doing it so something different today i'm excited dj loves to fish in the ocean and uh that's where we're headed today I'm glad you ladies decided to join us down here. You betcha. What took so long? Wardrobe changes. We had to pack. Had to pack. Got the makeup. Got ring oh, makeup. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Got the makeup. It's 7 a.m. We made it to the boat ramp. We're fixing to get out here and catch some fish. DJ's wanting to catch some snook. We're gonna try to get on some bonita. DJ getting her hair braided. It's gonna be an awesome day. I'm excited. We, uh, we got a kingfish here, uh, first first catch of the day. We're out here with the guys from Fishing Wizard uh, app, and uh, really cool on that app. They knew exactly where they'd marked the spot on where to go. We're about uh, two and a half, three miles off uh, off the coast, and uh, first fish of the day, uh, pretty awesome. Right here, we're pulling up some bait fish, and then caught this guy right on the top, and that was that was awesome. So pretty cool stuff, man. Pretty excited about it. We're gonna put him in. He's a he's for sure a keeper. We eating this guy. Sweet. All right. Hopefully we'll get some more. Oh my God. Oh, bro. Oh, 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 smoker king. Oh, 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 that was a big kingfish. Oh, <laughs> I got that on video. Oh, that was smoker. Oh, You hiding in the bathroom it's raining out there. oh so yeah brad caught the only fish of the day to speak of i guess we did catch one mangrove snapper that was little what'd you catch brad oh king, king mackerel brad caught a, a king mackerel thought we were going to get off to a good start then and uh just kind of fizzled out and now it's raining i don't know what we're gonna do now we do have some more alligator plans this afternoon got some uh 
kind of got hooked up with a guy with a bunch of nuisance tags and we have a shot at actually going and killing a bunch of alligators this evening so that's exciting since the fishing is not what's up guys this is daniel so we're on day three i think my days and nights are so confused we've stayed up all night gone to bed about eight o'clock in the morning stayed out all night alligator hunting stingray bow fishing anyway so we're actually at the shop and they're walking cooler where they put the gators and stingrays so we're gonna actually skin and get some gator meat and cut up some of these stingrays and we're gonna have a a, a fish fry tonight and eat some alligator and stingray and uh it's awesome i can't wait to try it fresh alligators just caught just killed a couple you know what a day and a half ago now stingrays that we killed last night so we're gonna try some of this it's gonna be good stuff I'm gonna video you on the phone while you look at the alligator. Hang on, let me switch it. There it is. You see the alligator? Yeah, it's dead. See his teeth? I don't know if he, I don't know if he can pry his mouth open so we can see his teeth. He may be too cold. So I'm sure a lot of people are wondering if we were actually going to eat any of this alligator and what we we're going to do with the stingrays. You know, most people don't don't say, or most people say you don't really eat stingray, but uh, you actually can. And we're going to we're going to fillet these stingray out this evening and have them for supper. Uh, Kendall has already uh, skinned out her gator. She just we just cleaned the tail, so we're going to have gator tail and stingray that was fresh caught in the last couple days. And some of the fish we shot also. Yeah, and some of the other fish we shot, we shot some sheep's head. And uh, what else, what else we, we got? We shot some sheep's head, we shot some mullet. Some mullet, so yeah. yeah, we're gonna eat good tonight. If you haven't noticed, the guys we've been fishing with, there's logos everywhere. Fishing Wizard, these guys have created app, or, I'm sorry, there's no G, it's Fishing. Fishing Wizard. Everything around here says Fishing Wizard. And they've created an app um, for, for fishermen so tell me what the app is real quick. Just give me a quick rundown. We call it Real Data for Real Anglers. So it's sort of everything that a fisherman would need to go on a fishing trip. We have boat ramps, we have non-ethanol fuel locations, bait shops, uh, you can get your tide charts, so lunar data, you know whenever the, the fish are gonna be feeding. And then you can even mark your own waypoints. So if you wanna, you have those secret spots where you find some brush piles or whatever, you can mark a spot and uh, come back to it. It's all private for you, so it's not like you're sharing your, your best spots with the world. Uh, it's just for you, fish log, all kinds of stuff. Check it out. So that's pretty awesome. Check them out. They're on uh, Google and Apple. So you can download their app. It's a free download. Fishing Wizard. Look them up. You have a website too, right? Yep, it's just fishingwizard.com. You can go to get.fishingwizard.com and that'll take you right to iOS or Android to the app. You can download it right there. Awesome. So go check them out. Fishing Wizard. No G. Fishing Wizard. Alligator going into grease. Something else. Mm. Well, actually, I have tried alligator. I've never tried fresh caught, you know, next day kind of alligator. Oh, the gator's, my the gator's good. The gator I mean, is the, the bomb. Really DJ good. says the gator is phenomenal. Look at it, it looks like a little chicken nugget. Uh huh. <laughs> I think DJ likes the gator better than the stingray. I do. Mm -hmm. That flavor huh. is crazy. Whoa! It is hot. Oh, it is good. hot. Yeah. About burn the roof of my like mouth off. White. Look yeah. how white that meat. Look yeah. how white the meat is. You know. Look at the meat. Can you see? That piece of gator. Mmm, so good. Mmm. Mine is too. Yeah. We marinated that. The gator's a little, a little chewy. A little chewy because we didn't have time to marinate it. But it is delicious. Yeah, this wasn't marinated. It didn't soak in anything. Literally came off the gator about an hour ago. It's good. So we got a lot of this stingray and gator coming out of the grease right now. We're gonna show you what we did, how we got this stuff seasoned up, and what we're using, and how it's being cooked. So guys, we basically took everything other than the fish. The fish were like 13 inches long, so we used whole fillets for that. We took everything else and cut it into nugget sizes. Uh, cut against the grain on your, on your piece of meat, 
in a size of a nugget size and then we season the uh the alligator and the stingray with what we're using everglades seasoning but your favorite all-purpose seasoning will work we use a dry fish fry this one's the seasoned zatarans and it goes into the seasoning we season the fish fry a little bit more into a ziploc bag shake on the breading and into the grease at 340 350 degrees for just about a minute and take it out and try not to burn yourself and eat it hot two minutes so don't get too technical about it just use whatever your favorite fish seasoning is um, but that Everglades seasoning is what we're using and a, and a Zatarain's fish fry seasoning. I'll leave a link in the description below to Amazon if you guys can't find that Everglades seasoning where you're at. They don't sell it in Oklahoma. Um, it's, it's really popular in Florida, I believe. So we may be getting our hands on some of that before we get back to Oklahoma. But it's really good. I, I like it. That Zatarain's has got a, I mean, a, the uh, Zatarain's fish fry mixed with the Everglades has a, has a really good flavor. So like I said, I'll leave a, a link to Amazon and in the description below and you guys can uh, go check that stuff out. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, um, for your creation and all the things you've given us uh, that we have dominion over these animals that we hunt and fish for. Um, thank you for the, the ability to um, go out and be free of persecution and, and honor you with our lives in this country. I ask that you bless this food to our bodies. We thank you, Father, for um, the safe travels here, uh, for our new friends, and, and I ask that you give them safe travels home. I pray that you Bless this food now to the nurse of our bodies, and we, we ask that you just um, accept our praises for what Jesus has done for us, and we pray in his name. Amen. Amen. How's that stinger at, buddy? What? Good. Mm. Did you get you any of those gator bites? So we just made it back to the house. It's uh, almost 1 a.m. It's been a crazy, long, fun day, but not the most successful if you're counting numbers. But yeah, we went to the ocean, did some fishing, didn't really didn't catch a whole lot, but it was all, it was still a blast. We had a little seafood, and um, it's been an amazing week here in Florida. Uh, I mean, just unbelievable, awesome. That bow fishing, the stingrays. To me made the whole trip worthwhile but it's about 1 a.m we haven't packed because we left the house today what time we leave this morning 4 30. i'm yelling at her we left very very early this morning just now getting back and we have to leave here uh no later than what 6 a.m in the morning mm -hmm. to get to the airport since our, our flights actually got canceled um twice we were gonna fly United. Had a, we were gonna fly into Houston. And that got canceled because of the hurricane. Then we were gonna fly into uh, Oklahoma City, and that got canceled because United canceled all their flights because of the hurricane. So now we're gonna fly Spirit, and it's a lot earlier flight than what we were expecting. So getting about three or four hours of sleep and headed to the airport. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Um, Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.